Hi, good evening. <coughs> we meet again. Okay, today basically the hot topics is what is going around in the media is about uh, Amno MPs jumping ship. Uh, well, not jumping ship, uh, leaving Amno. That is normal. As far as I know, we Malaysian voted on 9th of May to get rid of UMNO. So why bother about if they are MP leaving or not? More relevant question is statement made by uh, Ketua Pemuda PKR Nick Najmi and countered back by the deputy Dr. Afifi. According to Nick Najmi, uh, Azmin's scam was against uh, Tun Mahade becoming the Prime Minister and did not want to break ties with past during his heydays in Slango as uh, CM. This is during the Kajang days. And when when uh, past break ties with uh, Pakatan Rakyat at that time. Now my question to Nick Najmi is why open the can of uh, can of worms now when you had a chance last time? Are you not behaving the same as what uh, you all used to oppose? When AMNO members open up after they lost, everyone condemned. Why not? Why now? Why not then? But same question I throw back to you, Nick Najmi. Why now? Not then. You, Nick Najmi, has apanama uh, pointed out a few things about what transpired. And Dr. Afifi have countered that. What have got Nick Najmi got to say about your own deputy who counter your statement? Come on, you all are no more in the opposition. You all are in the government. Act like the government. Don't still keep on acting like opposition. Huh? What you all are doing are just breaking up the party. Don't give me the bullshit of, you know, freedom of speech, openness and all that. Hey, come on. Certain things, you keep it within the family. You do not go and expose to your neighbours. You go and don't go and expose to the public. Do you all know why Barisan National was in power for 61 years? Because they were united. Whatever happened in their family, they kept it to themselves. Come on. With 14 over component party in Barisan National, trust me, it was not a bit of roses for them too. But they were united and they kept it, their family matter, within their family. After 9th May, look at what I noticed. PPBM is quiet, doing their work. Amana is quiet with uh, Mat Sabu being the defense minister, doing his job, keeping quiet all about all party matters. DAP is keep uh, not opening up any uh, uh, problem among their party. Why PKR? You all claim to be the biggest party and yet you all are acting like, you know, opposition. Listen. Enough of politicking and bitching. Concentrate on the building of the nation. People voted y'all in not to listen to your family gossip or family uh, problems. Y'all are the people's representative to take Malaysia to a higher level. People are down here are suffering. Huh? 
you all remove GST as you all promised and then you all implemented SST, fine, no complaint, nothing whatsoever. But listen to some people who are suffering also. Are you trying to say after 9th May, uh, this one I'm talking generally to, 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 to the whole of Pakatan. Are you all thinking that what? People are uh, overnight have uh, became wealthy, have no problem. There's the poverty of Malaysia have uh, dropped to zero percent. Uh, literacy have dropped to zero percent. Come on. Every time you all say, "Oh, 61 years old dirt cannot be clean in one day," but what you all doing? You all are bitching and bickering about own family problem. Enough lah. Concentrate on. Uh, running the government and bringing, uh, taking Malaysia to a higher level, you know, in the world platform. Uh, very, very disappointed actually the way things are going. Even Toon have said that he's very disappointed with the ministers. Some of you burgers are not even ministers, are not even in the cabinet, but you all are acting as though you all are above the prime minister. You know? Anwar Ibrahim is going to stand for election in by-election. Go and campaign. Go and go to the, to the ground. Start doing some work. Enough of bickering. You know? Counterfeiting and all that. And one request to Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim. The 32 million citizens of Malaysia... Rakyat Malaysia is watching. Don't forget in the on the road to be the Prime Minister that don't forget that you are still the president of a party. How can Dato Sri Anwar run a country when your own party got problems? Yes, statement been made, there's no rift between Azmin and Dato Sri Anwar, there's no, no two camps and all that. But people are not stupid. You know, people understand what's going on. Party members, uh, what, um, uh, Pimpinan Tinggi Party, people with portfolios in the party are opening their mouth and shooting all away every single day. Oh my God, I just wish I could use the word F, but uh, I'll, I will sustain from using that. But come on, lah, come on. Do something. Think about Malaysia. Think about the people. Enough of personal agenda to every single one in Pakatan Harapan. What are y'all up to, seriously? Really, I don't understand. For once, stop politicking. Enough is enough. 100 over days, done. People are saying y'all did not fulfill the uh, what y'all promised and y'all are just Tai Chi here, Tai Chi there, blaming game. Work! Y'all are getting a hefty salary with allowances and all that. Work! You know? Party matters leave it during party time but now is bringing up Malaysia. Huh? Open the big mouth and say we are in debt of one trillion. What are you all doing about it? Come on, enough is enough. As for the election of PKR, come on, there are better way to tackle it. You know, use diplomacy. At the end of the day, whichever person loses or whichever camp, so-called camp loses. But who will be the biggest loser? It will be PKR, the bigger loser. It will be Pakatan Harapan, the bigger loser. And when Pakatan Haram is the, uh, Harapan is a bigger loser, it affects the government, the current government. You know? Instead of shutting the doors, y'all are opening the doors for, for opposition to just take um, open fire at y'all. What are y'all up to? Enough. Enough. Please, think about the people. No more self-interest. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody.